Welcome back to the channel, my boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no, I know I haven't updated on y'all and uploaded any new videos, but uh, you can tell it's a big truck. So, mechanic videos are still going to be coming out, but mostly the new series I'm going to put on the channel is uh, truck driving, truck driving videos and stuff. And then this truck here is an old white. And this is going to be the, the new star and spotlight of the channel on this series. Uh, I'm still debating what to call it. But other than the chicken singing and roosters. Um, today's video, I'm going to be redoing, redoing the paint. But I'm going to be doing today the bodywork on this fender. As you can see, that is... It's fiberglass hood, but a metal cab. Uh, I painted on a spray can from Walmart, and it pretty ma it matches up pretty good. So I know what paint I'm gonna be using. Uh, this door and that number, you know, that's an old ass number, but that door needs to be repainted and redo all this too. It's not rust; it's surface rust, but no rust holes. Uh, 1985 white dash slash GMC GMC and uh, Volvo. As you can tell it looks like a Volvo because of the thing because it is. And uh, old school, you would know that these are um, white freight liners, white white Western Stars. They're all made by the same company, White. Um, this side, I got this to do as well. This part of the fender. Um, but I'm gonna just show the one side for now and then same again. This door, a little bit of surface rust. Surface rust in the back too. But re repaint the areas that need paint for now. Uh, it's gonna be a cheap paint job. Uh, Walmart spray can, and this is the paint. Uh, there it is gloss white bonus and what we're going to do is uh, sand this down smooth get bondo glass on here to fix this area and whatever other areas need to be worked on sand that down and then the process I got is I got the sanding block I'm going to do it by hand because it's fiberglass I'm going to start off with 60, then I'm going to go up to 100, 150, 220, 500, and then by 1,000. By, by, by the time I get to these two, wet sand, you know, and prime it just to see where I stand, where I need to fix it, and then use this. Um, you know, this is what this is for to see if there's any pinholes, any ups and downs I need to fix. I got masking tape, a drop cloth because I need to cover the fender. But since this is fiberglass, I don't really need to prime it because there's no metal for it to rust. But it's good to prime it though. Um, and I still got the paint there. And I got this bondo glass, uh, my mixing board. So I'm going to cut the piece that I need to uh, put the 60. And I'm going to start, you know, sanding. Well, as you can see. It needs body work anyways. All these weird specs. I don't know. I'm not a, a professional at uh, auto refinishing and touch ups and corrections and stuff. But there's a name for this. I don't know the name. But I know there's a name for these. Uh, not fish eyes. Uh, something else. But it wasn't there before. But now it's coming up a lot. Especially with this hot Texas sun heat. Humidity. But um, sand this down I'm gonna start from up here up here send all this down uh, this here this contour uh, a little bit of this too just just to get an even match on it uh, up to here just this section really is what I need I'm working on both sides as you can tell on the other side there's some parts that the paint is peeling off but that is not my main concern sanded down and primed and painted but this whole hood needs to be redone anyways and the top of the hood is 
the same way, but there's no big old gouges like this. It's just, uh, I believe, cracked. Get on top. Ugh. Yeah, just, just, um, just that right there. But it's just paint peeling off, and you can tell it's been spray painted by can before. You can tell the lines uh, right across the hood, right there, just going that way. Uh, especially right there. So redo that and the interior if I can get in here without falling down and the interior needs to be redone uh, all the gauges work I just plan to take these panels off clean them a little bit put them back on get masking tape mask everything that's uh, that's buttons gauges AC vents everything and just leave that there and believe it or not this is metal Oh, that's metal. It's not wood. It looks like wood, but it's, it's that vinyl covering. I don't know what it is, Billy, but it's vinyl stuff. But I'm going uh, to get that taken down and uh, sand it maybe a little bit in some areas. And I'm uh, I plan to paint it white just like the truck, the exterior color. You know, black and white make it looking good in here. Uh, I do need to clean the inside a little bit. But that's later on. I'm working on the outside first. And the hood, I mean not the hood, the uh, top of the truck. And my mistake on, the, on my cameraman work, uh, I accidentally cut the top, but the top of the truck, it is not rusted. It's just surface rust. Uh, like I said, this truck needs to be repainted the whole thing, but for now, it looks fine, just the way it looks. Sure has some pink filling off, but that can't be fixed. That can be fixed, just don't do what I did there. Actually, do the body work take all that off make sure I got a good uh, place where this the paint can stay but this I'm gonna get started uh, and somebody did mention on the video when I when we painted the, the Chevrolet um, you wanted to see me actually sand and the process instead of just skipping well I can't find my little tripod and I would just keep it recording and just sand this but really there's no uh there's no uh, in spanish no chiste it's just sand this down to where you can feel it's rough and work your way up and then bondo and all that stuff I mean, there's plenty of youtube videos to um for you to watch not necessarily on a big truck but it is all the same concept so i'm gonna get ready and start putting that on there and get ready to Stand down. All right, we are back after what, me 30 minutes. Uh, I cut the pieces wrong. Yeah, they're a little too short for this. So instead of me using the block, uh, I tore up the four pieces and I did it by hand. Um, got my little bucket of water with my little shop towel there. Uh, Clean it off. It's now smooth, like completely smooth. But the imperfections are like those little bubbles there. Oh, you see them now? Okay. Uh, that's like the only imperfections that I have to work on. Maybe with the lighter grit. Or maybe just continue with those. Um, I managed to get out some of them. But others I cannot. Uh, but I sanded a good portion down. Sanded from here. This way. There you go. It's this way, all the way down, even this part of the fender. Um, this I will keep it as a as a difference between before and after. Um, even here, the difference right there is like the line I decided to stop. But you can hopefully see the the scratches. I went like back and forth, and then like a side to side pattern. think you can tell really no you, you can't um okay you see that deep scratch there those are the ones that we need to get out when you ever paint something you don't want these scratches in there unless you're gonna blaze bloody the whole damn thing uh go ahead but in this case uh, you want to buff out that old paint and get rid of those scratches but I don't know if you can tell you might tell 
the the movement this way and this way just by those deep scratches um, crisscross pattern I took the light off uh, and the light doesn't work anyways I need to move need to buy a new one but these are trash I like old school you know the square ones uh, I'm trying to get some LED lights for this one too these work um, all this is sanded down real smooth up to here this is all smooth all smooth here so what I'm gonna do now is all this is smooth as well too and this is fiberglass um, but uh, this is gonna come off anyways. But um, I'm gonna mix up my uh, my bondo glass, and all this is is like bondo body filter. But instead of the uh, pink uh, stuff that we mix, it's actual like pieces of uh, short strand reinforced fiberglass filler. And per this is perfect for this job. You know, fiberglass that, and then if you want, you can put body filler, regular bo a bundle body filler and fill that up. But I'm going to use that for now, set it down, and use the, the, the spot putty and just go through there and see if I got any high or low spots. And even when I'm sanding, I'm going to tell if it's going to be high or low. Uh, my plan here is not, not to put a lot, just you know enough where it can fill that in. Uh, that's going to take a little more handful and just spread it across from hip here well from here all the way down to here uh, and try to match the contour of this sadly you can put body filler but it's just gonna take time um, honestly I don't care really about that body line anyways it do, it's not really even noticeable uh, up close and personal yeah but uh, this is gonna be a cheap uh, paint job really and it's a truck this is, this is not a, a, a 69 camaro uh, mustang whatever sports car this is a this is a truck it's gonna be used to call haul and move cargo and, and material and equipment and so on so really this is just just to make it look good and i have annoying old numbers and name on the door things and maybe hope god hopes that this i'm gonna get new tires but that tire you never know blows off breaks the half the hood off and I hope, hopefully that doesn't happen but now i'm just getting into the process of mixing this up and like i said i would like to show you all how would how to mix it all up and all that but like i said there's many more videos out there on youtube to show you how how to do this whole process i'm just showing you what i'm doing side of the truck and show you the other side you know at the fort and after hopefully uh, I need to go buy primer so maybe maybe just the sanding part would be done for this video but uh, if all comes out good I might just end up sanding this whole fender part this whole fender all the way down and which I might uh, what's down here oh the thing for the mud flaps you know I might take them off I mean, you got to anyways when you paint. So, it's just a process, really. It'd be nice to repaint the whole thing, but like I said, there's some areas where it doesn't even, it doesn't need paint. It just has those little, uh, those little dots like that. Which, I don't mind to keep them. Actually, I might just keep it like that. Just fix the areas where it needs to be fixed. Like I said, the, that old paint and new paint look almost exactly the same, so... Maybe that is the paint that, you, that these people, the previous owner, used just to paint it. Because, like I said, it's spray cans. This whole truck is spray cans. So they did a good job. I'm not gonna lie, but they did. They did a horrible job of doing the job of the paint. If that makes any sense. But you know, try to do it right at least. I've seen people who spray can the whole car and truck or whatever, and it comes up actually look, looking like a professional paint job. Anyway. Me rambling on. Uh, let me just get this done and bring it right back. I just finished mixing the stuff. Uh, there we go. I just finished mixing the the bun 
do glass spread it uh, did it from up there just evenly evenly quotation marks and then to here I just smacked a, a dab anyway it's gonna be sanded down to see where like I said the high and lows and I just added some up here uh, some there some there places where it was cracked and not whatnot this edge I tried to have like the body line and I'm just gonna see how that turns out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on the fan. I turned it off because that dries up quickly, which the mixture I did was a small handful with two drops of that uh, hardener and voila. And I got enough on there for me to say, okay, I got, on, I got it on there, see what happens. And like I said, I had this off and then I turned it back on. the results afterwards I luckily I do have a can of uh, paint primer bonds to plastic but it's wood metal and plastic and more gloss white this is a paint and primer uh, this is just a primate this is gonna be the actual color so this is just because of the primer stuff in it but I do need to get primer though straight up primer but when I get the chance so yeah I'm come back after this dries up and uh, show you all right so I resanded everything down and I found that little spot here that's why there's this again and right here again and this time I made sure to uh, cover it all completely because you can see where the hole was well I just decided just to sand it down and it was still low so just give it a good layer and send it back down so it's all flush just all like that right there all of this is ready to go. I put some more there and there. But let it dry. Turn on the fan. Let it dry. Sand it again. It's a process. Alright. It has been almost an hour and a half later. And you can see there's a big difference going on here. Well, I decided to sand the whole thing. A hundred and. No, no, no. A hundred. Uh, what is it? Sixty. Sixty grit. Uh, from you actually you can see from this edge from the very edge of this right here down it's all sanded 60 grit and it's now smooth in some spots it's rough for them little dots but at that point I would have to sand it more and more but it's actually uh, soothing out with the finer sandpaper so and I used the the spot putty. This is just to clean off the, the little chingaso there. Um, I'll put some here to see, um, you know, for the scratches and yeah, it works. So I do still need to send it down another while. I gotta go from 60 to 100, but. I want to see if I should just jump to 150, but I'm sticking to the 100. I uh, I uh, put some here in this spot. Need to add some there. Uh, right here. That's that's what this is for. Like that right there. I sand it down. It'll, it'll fill it in right there. Um, other than that, I need to, like I said, I just need to sand this down. I just put it on there to see where exactly. I need to fill in like right here, here, some other spot. Like I said, I need to send it down uh, 100, 100 grit at least. And for, for y'all people who want to know, man, just I would have just painted it. Well, you see that area? You see all those scratches? That's the old paint, right? That's, you know, this is this, is this stuff right here. And you can tell, yeah that needs some of that stuff over here so it's actually dry now but gotta send it down to 100 then 150 then 220 and then go up from there so i'm gonna take my time anyway at this point it's just sending down and i've been doing it by hand so 
this is day one so tomorrow when I get the chance to work on the truck um, I'm use the, the electric one the electric sander for the hood and see how fast it can do it if it does it faster then the whole truck is gonna uh, do the whole truck instead uh, electric but for today we're just gonna let this all dry and cure I'm gonna put some in the other spots but it's a good day so this is day one and I'll be back tomorrow hopefully for day two so all right day two welcome back uh, anyway this is all gonna be put in one video but this is me just being used to saying welcome back but anyways other than the, the chicken sitting in the sun uh, yesterday's uh, day one we uh I mean, we, I mean, me, myself, and I, uh, I like focus. we, uh, I sent it down this, this side, one, uh, 60 grit, and for, probably you can see the scratches, like right there, um, so this side, other than the spot hoodie there, uh, I'm gonna send it down to 100, but today, day two, we're gonna focus on doing this part of the hood, 60 grit, and this time we're gonna be using this thing, this uh, palm sander, Black and Decker, and see how that turns out. And if I get finished and I don't need to put any bondo, uh, then I can get started on this side too and finish the hood completely. And then from there. Uh, all this would be 160 and do the body work right there on that side like I said on yesterday's video right there and right here on the corner um, after the 60 grit it's gonna be the 100 and uh, the uh, yeah 60 grit 100 and 150 so, yeah so let me get to it uh, I could not find my little tripod, the one I used when I painted the red truck and my other videos. So I might have to go and get me another one. It's cheap, but it sucks to knowing that I have one, but I can't find it. You know. But anyways, um, I'll get down to it and bring y'all back. And right before I start, uh, or right before I start sanding, wear a mask like this. Um, so paint and primer and so forth even when body work just you don't breathe the stuff in uh, hand hand sanding is not that much especially when you're well into ventilated uh, but since I'm using the electric sander there's gonna be more than yesterday and I got two fans there and then this one down here so yeah safety first uh, safety glasses and uh, your little respirator or your mask, whatever you want to use. Uh, I'm going to be using this because I've been using these before. So, ain't no problem. But, yeah, safety first when any type of job, painting, and mechanic work. So, we get down to it. All right. We are back after maybe four hours later. <laughs> uh, and you can see there's a little difference in this truck. Uh the whole the whole hood has been sanded down for uh, the 60 grit uh, the body work still needs to be done on this side but that's just that front part and then this little back part here um, and just fill in these scratches as much as I can the top of the hood um, if I can get if I can get up here um, that's still the same just went over a couple of times with the sander which reminds me I need to get a new sander because the one I was using just took a dump I put a what you call it that bondo glass there and over there on the other side the same thing on the corner area like that uh, down here same story that right there um, all this is sanded down I took those um, covers off that goes to the air filter this is where the air comes in for your engine uh, on this truck on these whites because if you notice, this truck doesn't have air filters in the outside, so that's how the air comes in. I 
Don't remember what other truck has the same system like this, old school, other than the whites. Um, don't quote me on it. Uh, and you can tell over there the uh, the uh, little bit of scratches that have been filled in. So, sand it down and it's smooth, you know, to where I don't feel anything rough other than like I said these scratches need to be buffed out so start sending it down well tomorrow it'll be another day so do the body work the bondo glass and then after I do that start sending it down the 100 grit all the way around again uh, I might just do it with my hand it's quicker than the, the sander, the uh, black and decker, I think that's what this is. Uh, yeah, black and decker. Like, it, it's still hot. Wow. And, yeah, you know, you're thinking, well, yeah, you're using it, right? Well, when it starts changing speeds by itself, despite it's not supposed to, yeah, something ain't right. Um, so I might get a, a sander from Walmart to <laughs> so I'm a cheap hyper tough one it don't matter uh, just to get me through to sand these doors uh, sanding by hand really is not that hard it's just time-consuming uh, the, the whole point is where you the paint before it was like a glossy finish to it like right here um, you can tell it's not completely scratch scratched um, but even with the electric stuff it does the same thing so I gotta uh, make sure that this whole area on the hood and the rest of the truck is you know crossed like this side to side I don't know what they call it it's X pattern um, but I do want to take these off both sides you gotta go from the back so when the hood is up I'm gonna make sure I can take these bolts out and if I break it well I got uh, fiberglass you know cloth so I can redo it again and you know big, big deal really um, and paint that on the side or fix it up a little bit like right that one right there is cracked I forgot how the other one is um, take that off and might take these on you actually you got to anyways uh, when you're painting Take this up. I do need a new door handle, but Screw it. It'll be all right um, Take these off Take the mirrors off and then on top same story and sun visor got to take off Everything has to come off despite I just put these all the lights I a Couple of them weren't working right and so I took the inside headliner off to access the wires and sure enough it was all loose tying it all back together but if I can just take these lights off from the top and just you know mask it around it it'd be all right uh, the horns same story um, I really don't feel like taking the headliner but if I have to I will um, taking that spot bullshit light thing off because that thing ain't worth the damn um, but yeah so the hood is the priority right now. Uh, so like I said, after I do the body work tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to just start sending it 100, 150, the 220, up to 1500. Once it's all smooth, you know, at this point it does, because once I get to the 100, I don't need really the Bondo stuff anymore, any body filler, because it's all sending down. By the time I get to 1000, and uh, what is it, 20? 1200 or 1500 I forgot what I said <laughs> but by the time I get to that air at that stage I'm gonna just wet sand it and then clean it off you know with a wet towel and just clean it off with a wet towel because anyway I still got to sand these other stuff so this the, the the dust is gonna come back and I took this truck outside to work on today the f fans were blowing it outward and the wind was just right so inside the shop there's no dust except for you know the ground is all needs to be needs to be sweeped but anyways it's coming closer coming closer together so
Like I said, I wish I could uh, take a small part of the video, just me sh just sanding. But I don't, I don't know. Four hours later, I mean, the process that I done, and I don't feel like editing a ton of hours just to compress it to like five minutes of you know time lapse. But yeah. So, like I said, y'all saw me and and the red pickup truck, the red Chevy, you know, the sanding and painting process, the same deal on the big truck. It's just no difference, just bigger. Uh, the interior, I do plan to paint this dash panel white as well. Um, it is not wood, it's actual metal. So, I do gotta... I don't feel like taking all the gauges out, so I'm gonna be lazy, man, and just do it the 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 quick not the right way <laughs> but make it look nice at least i mean i don't it's really really the truck i'm gonna be driving it so and i took that apart which is just nothing but screws i might end up taking this top part off this part off to uh access some wires uh mostly this is a manual ac system so it has a cable and over there I found maybe what out of these four because that's a lighter and that's the fan so these four I think two of them run that way and I can see them up there actually no yeah two of them uh, the warm basically this is your heater it's right here like so close but it, it, I don't it, it sounds like it's like messed up compared to this that sounds about right that that don't sound good this one's the fresh air that works this one's the AC this is what you know when you want it cold and later I find out the AC compressor kicks and it's running but does not blow cold and that's the evaporator over there so I might have to check on the Freon put some Freon see and if I got a leak well I know I have a leak I can replace something um, that's AC cigarette lighter the fan speed that's your heater and this is the defrost that's right here uh, axle temperature gauges which is really cool wipers panel lights and I don't like these uh, hopefully when I upload this someone on the outs out there can tell me where I can get replacements for all of these because uh, they're all sticky and it's just blech. Um my bad with my finger. Marker lamps, lights up here. This is your buttons for your trailer and tractor. My PTO there. This is a Fuller 13 speed. Um, let's see. Over here is the Jake brakes. I know that because here's the selector for, you know, one, three, and two. Uh, that's the Jake brake. And then I don't know if this light corresponds to the Jake brakes to be on or not. Um, I do need to ask your previous owner, but he probably has forgotten now, or maybe still remembers. Um, but I'm guessing that's for, like I said, this is the Jake brakes, but I'm just guessing this is the light for it to turn on. Like, hey, your Jake's, your Jake's are on. I don't know. Uh, fifth wheel slide, and then the diff lock slash full wheel drive for this truck. Um, this, has, this has the Johnny bar. And then these lights down here with these switches, I do not know what they're for or what they do. Uh, I know there's some part, pair of uh, two lights on top of the cab, so I'm guessing that's for work lights. I hit one of these, probably turns on, but it's probably the lights don't work. Maybe they don't won't turn on, but I was seeing that one. I don't know what this is for. So Let's see. They work. They got electricity to it. I just don't know what they go to for. Like I said, if they're for lights, then I just keep them there. Just got to figure out what lights are there extra that I don't know. Um, everything, all the gauges work. Um, there's not enough light. Uh, oil pressure, water temperature. This one's oil temperature. My volt slash amp meter. The voltage. RPMs, the blinker lights are those. Um, high beam, low air, a red button, not a red button, the little red indicator here. You can't see it, but 
I don't know what that one's for. And then the green one, tampoco, I don't know what that's for. Um, this truck only has about, yeah, I think a million. But this truck I know has more than a million, so. And it runs great. Fuel, fuel gauge, the fuel gauge does work. It's just, I have low fuel as hell. <laughs> I probably have like 10 gallons in there. Um, trans Transmission temperature gauge, which is also very nice to have on this truck. And my air pressure gauge. Old school key, and then you push the start. And down here, I got a vent. I'm guessing down here, there's a vent that opens to the legs. I, mean, I don't know. I guess so. Sounds like it. But yeah. Um, very spacious truck. These whites are very, very spacious. Volvos. That's what they are, really. Ah. Uh. Uh, this is the lights I was talking about. So, maybe they do work. I don't know. I would have to have my dad be like, hey, turn it on. Um, also, another thing, guys. I don't know where the hell to get stuff for big trucks. I'm not a, not a total knowledgeable of accessories, but these are big old stacks. They're straight piped. But down here, there's, a, there's holes because water would go because during the rain so nobody would ever put buckets so the water would be right there sitting and they rusted out so is that flex pipe it's not looking best and neither of these uh this side's all right ish but it's all rusty that side is bad um i would like to replace these uh at least these elbows really because this is up, up here this is all right just Replace this part. Um, let's see what kind of gallons we got. Well, we're just go at this point. We're just doing a walk through around the truck. Uh, 102 gallons, 100 gallon tank, size size. So 200 gallons total. Cool. Or you want to do correct math? Uh, two 204. Uh, I do new. I do need a new pogo stick. <laughs> um, I greased the drivetrain. The only thing I need to check is the transmission fluid. The oil and that sucker to see if it's the right amount. I need new tires. I need to sell this truck that I have at the mechanic shop. Despite I'm a mechanic, but since you can see me, I have working on this. I don't have time to do a valve adjustment, so that's all it needs. And I need to sell that truck because I don't, I can't stand it no more. I don't like the truck, and it's a '98 Chevy four wheel drive. Cheyenne package um, That truck was gonna go to the junkyard uh, Like I said I need new tires sell that truck Get at least four thousand out of it We me and my dad spent too much money on it um, frame Has been repainted I repainted it tires I had on there Were brand new but I swapped them out for that truck over there that uh, What the hell that sand color looking one, the tires are on it right now, but that one is awaiting a new motor. And apparently Jags is on back order on motors. So if I would have known, if they would have actually told me, hey, we're on back order, well, I would have took out the motor right now, take it to the machine shop here in town and tell them, hey, bore it out, give me a 355. But, oh well. So, like I said, that other truck, I want to sell at least for 4,000 so I can get the tires all the way around for this truck and brand new tires um like i said if someone's actually interested tell me clean title um uh, paint is like what now a year and a half old and i got pictures of the truck when it was before and currently now and i'm telling you i spent we and my dad spent some good money on it a lot of money like i said that truck was gonna go to the the scrap yard we decided to save it but the wiring was chewed and cut um it was a big mess, so uh, we, I decided to rewire it. We decided to work on it. Fuel pump, fuel tank. Let me just put it this way. Fuel system, brand new with AC Doco parts. Yeah, we spent the good money on it. Brake system, I replaced everything you can imagine. Sensors, hubs, the 
the hubs, the rotors. Well, hubs actually that too. The wheel bearings, um, seals, all all the seals you can think on that truck are literally replaced at some point in time. They're not new because it's been since 2017 up to now, and you know it's just sitting. But I only drove it for like maybe 500 miles before the transmission burned up on me, and I put a transmission in it too. The motor, I had lost compression in the motor, and head gaskets was the culprit, so I took it apart, checked it all, it was all good, according to factory specifications, so I put everything back together, and I got even a video of it running, and it has headers, um, exhaust, um, man, like I said, interior, I've redone it, it just needs a headliner, uh, it's not ripped, it's actually sagging, um, it has a cold AC heater. Everything works. Radio is aftermarket Kenwood with the sound system. The two 12s in the back, Scar Audios, and a 30,000 watt amp. I mean, I spent time and money on the truck, and you can see why. At least I want 4,000 out of it, but I'm gonna sell it for five. But if someone can give me the the five or the four cash like today, it'll be cool. Um, so I can get that sell that truck clean like I said clean title you just gotta have to see it to believe it on that truck um, the reason why it needs a valve adjustment is when I put everything back together and I did the valve adjustment according to this book here right uh, it ran and I have a video of it running and when I went to go test drive it guess what happens clack 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 loud clacking sound and the check engine lights blinking like misfire and I was like what the hell so I go try to figure out I got compression I got fuel I got so let me take the valve covers off well there goes the heads the 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 not the heads the uh, rocker studs pulled out despite I sent them the the heads to the machine shop to get them worked I said hey whatever needs to be done do it they didn't do they didn't pin or whatever they were supposed to do you know when you ask hey check these heads out and you know all the the common issues on these heads fix it and I guess they didn't I don't know um, so I had to go buy some screw in rocker studs and I put them on there but like I said I've been busy with driving the big trucks and then I got this one here uh, I'm trying to fix up so I don't got time so I sent it to the, my old ex boss uh, boss shop and it's been I'm out a month and they haven't started on it so and all, like I said, all it needs is a valve adjustment. Everything's on there. It just needs to be tightened down and cranked and make sure it runs. Um, like I said, I just want to sell it. If it runs, starts, and drives down the block nice and strong, park this some bitch. Hey, I want five thousand. Your best offer, or you can give me four cash. You can take the truck today. I mean, a thousand dollars less. I mean, I don't care. Whoever got the money, cash money. Do not accept checks. That's one thing. <laughs> Cash up, tampoco, no, <laughs> no, has to be cash money, but yeah, so this truck, just need time on it, oh, another thing, before I end the, this day two's part of the video, uh, I need to buy one of these, there's numbers here, and there's a, something says I need to take this off, I put WD-40, uh, penetrating fluid in other words on this so I can take this fender cover off to get some type of numbers but there's something in the back that has letters and I don't know if it's the company name or what but I do need this uh, I don't know what they're called um, bracket spring bracket or the shackle um, I, I don't know the correct term I know on a pickup truck on, a, on an automotive the shackles in the back and then the front is just like the hanger slash bracket but I don't, know, I don't know if that still corresponds with 18 wheelers, but I do need a new one because you can tell that is not right. On the other side, it's like normal. That isn't right. And I need to replace that. And since this is an 85 white slash GMC slash Volvo, um, I don't know if Volvo still makes parts for these. I imagine they do. See, that's still correct. Uh, so I need a new bracket for that side and I know when we went to Mac Vanguard in Houston um, or Volvo as well 
we went in there, hey, do you got horns for this truck? We gave him the VIN number, and they had the horns, believe it or not. And so we got horns for it. They're brand new. Um, so I imagine so they have that that part. I need to replace it. But other than that, this thing is pretty nice. Um, yeah, so I'm going I'm to I'm end this clip today. This is, today is, this is the end of day two, so... Um, I'll see you tomorrow and Yeah, this might be just one big long video <laughs> of The process of, of painting I just might make a three-day Deal upload it and then another three days depending how much time this will take I mean the hoods already sanded down it just needs to be sanded more and more and more and The cap is just left But oh well, I might maybe the the day three till tomorrow maybe hopefully if there's not a lot of work get started on the body work and send it in the video and then edit it tomorrow and by hopefully tomorrow which is the 9th of june so wednesday so tomorrow hopefully but by, by around here in central standard time uh hopefully by 9 10 o'clock the video is uploaded by midnight, hopefully by the next day, by Thursday, the video is actually published through YouTube. So, yeah. So, I'm going to end the video, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right. This will be the little part three of the video, and the ending part. So, the hood is already completely sanded down and bundled and all that nice shit. All this right here. That too, all nice and smooth. So, the 60 grit over. Uh, apparently my old man told me, uh, on, on his old pewter built, he sent it down to, uh, uh, 220, so, and then he painted it and it looked like factory, so I might do it that route instead of going over to 1000. And on a car or, or on automotive or any really painting, it's up to 2000, but, you know, it's a truck, you know, it's gonna be in the mud and shit, dirt and gravel and whatever, so. I'm not going for a super, uh, super nice, uh, hot shot paint job. So, yeah. So, the 60 grit done. I'm going to start going with 100 and go up to 220. And then once I finish the hood, it's just a re-sand. Uh, start the cab. So, hope you like this first part, you know, of this build, painting, whatever. Um, I got other plans to make videos inside the cab. Uh, so... Yeah, like, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, anything that I've suggested earlier for y'all's help earlier in the other part of the video, um, please comment down. It'd be, the help would be very, very uh, appreciated. So, yeah, thank you.